Again, this year, the very first section of the UFL you will be required to complete is entitled Application Capacity Scorecard. This section, you may recall, was created by Kentucky Housing for all of our competitive applicants so that we can create uniformity and consistency in how we evaluate the capacity of our applicants. The scorecard is divided into three sections, experience and capacity, which has questions related to your agency and staffing, monitoring history, which has questions related to how your agency has performed on any previous funding awards, and financial management, which has questions related to the financial strength and stability of your organization. Kentucky Housing Corporations considers a minimum threshold for overall capacity to be 60%. Once you have answered all of the questions, you will see your score at the bottom. If that score is 60% or below, or is very close to 60%, that may be an indication that your agency has some capacity issues and may not score well enough on this application to be funded. Scoring above the minimum capacity threshold does not guarantee funding. Applications are reviewed in their entirety before final funding decisions are made. This year, the process is slightly different. You will complete the capacity scorecard and submit it prior to completing the rest of your application. It will then be reviewed and scored by the review team at KHC, and KHC's score will be made available to you in the UFA. This new process will allow you to know what your outcomes are in this area and give you the option to proceed with the balance of the application. If your final overall score is below 60%, you will not be eligible for funding. The very first question is critical. It asks whether your agency, any member of your development team, or any member of your staff is currently suspended or debarred from doing business with Kentucky Housing Corporation or any other funding agency. If the answer to this question is yes, you will not be able to proceed to question two. If you are currently suspended or debarred, you are not eligible for funding through KHC. Each question has the option to answer either yes, no, or not applicable. Those questions that are indicated as not applicable will not be calculated in the overall score, so you will not lose points if the answer is NA. You will also have an opportunity to provide further explanation for some of your answers at the bottom of the scorecard. Once you have completed the capacity scorecard, submit it to KHC for review and scoring. You may proceed with completing the balance of the application but now you will be aware of your capacity score before the submission deadline. This way, there will be no surprises in your overall capacity score for the application. If you have questions about the form, its format, or the meaning of a particular question, please reach out to Jill House for assistance. Jill can be reached at 800-633-8896, extension 705, or at email jhouse at kyhousing.org. Thank you and good luck.